Hi guys, so today is day 6 of the flex challenge and today's topic is open topper. So, um, let's see, yesterday, um, EPS delivered 30 organic large flat diapers that my dad bought. Now, I did prep them in the washing machine. But it's only because I did not feel like prepping all of these by hand. That would have taken way too much time. I still hand washed the challenge diapers. Um, I actually asked my husband to pick up some stuff. Um, He did pretty good. <coughs> now, if you live in a place that has hard water like I do, you can use something like um, the borax here. I know it looks backwards, but it's borax. Um, well, it might look backwards. Um, but it's a the borax. Um, it is safe for HE machines. <coughs> it says uh, safe for all machines and septic tanks. No phosphates or chlorine. Um, it removes stains and neutralizes odors. Um, <coughs> Here's it right here, under laundry. It says, add a half cup to every load along with regular detergent. Clean. A multi-purpose household cleaner. It helps remove stain, shows up soft and sour water, and <coughs> um, since I have a HE wash machine. Um, <clears throat> it uses only about six gallons of water per large, extra large load. Um, I'm gonna do a fourth cup. But my large load here is equivalent to a Medium-ish? I don't know, but yeah. There's one got a few. And um, <clears throat> so this is gonna be for my cloth diapers to help clean them. Um, <clears throat> he also brought me some more oxyclean. It's a Clorox bleach alternative. It's safe for all machines. Now, <clears throat> the scope that comes with it, 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 it has this very small amount you put in your HE machines, which I do. Then, well, <clears throat> it is not entirely HE friendly. Uh, I also got me this stuff. Oh god. And it has basic instructions in the back. For hand washing, half cup per 10 liters of water. Machine washing, one cup per 5k load. Um. So I guess when I go to do that challenge again, I'm going to weigh it, do the conversion there, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking this is roughly, let's see, 5 kilograms, 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds, so this is about 12 pounds of load, so 1 cup per 12 pounds. But I'm just going to do maybe a 
fourth cup or an eighth cup. Play around with it. But this is for when I am done with. And let me get. So it's for when I am done with this stuff. This I just used to store. And on the top of the machine, but in here there's some uh there's some borax, washing soda, there's some zoat salt, there's some those naphtha, there's some a little bit of coca mixed in. Um But <clears throat> um, I was advised by Green Mountain Diapers the instructions to avoid homemade detergents for the cloth diapers. But <clears throat> I have another half bar of soap soap that can grate up. I can keep it, I don't know, but the chain of stuff I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And the scoop that is in here is actually an OxyClean scoop. <coughs> So depending on how soiled the diapers are, I just do two scoops max. In all honesty, it really does seem to help. Um, when I was solely hand washing, I had to strip the diapers like once a month with bleach. And I didn't like that. And then we got the machine, and so now it's, you know, like set the water appropriately, and, um, yeah. And so, um, yeah, so anyways, um, um, yeah. So that's so my husband got for well oxy clean is for all the clothes when they have stains, um they just add a bit to each load. Um now <coughs> I've been reading last night. Um about stuff and then I am Expecting a little one, so I am, you know. I'm actually glad about the challenge, you know, it's helping me keep track of how many diapers my son goes through in two days. Now, one thing I plan on doing is storing good portion of these facts for when Victoria is born and she'll be born in September right if things go well I am roughly 22 weeks pregnant right now yes and so I am practicing newborn tight balls That's only because I want to use cloth on the game of Victoria. I started with cloth late with my little one I have now. And I wish I learned about this challenge last year. And all that. But anyways, yeah. Um and so uh, uh Interesting note, whenever you order diapers, like plastic pre-rolls from Green Mountain Diapers, they will 
send you free pens unless you order your own fasteners, like Snap the Airport and goes. Um, me and my husband actually plan on ordering some foot covers from them and some um, Tingle Purple, either Snappy or Bungles. But the friends I have, I will just keep using them. Honestly, nobody's really going to see them. Well, they might. I mean, the color that came yesterday was red. and I was like, guess what color pins came with them? And he goes, pink. I'm like, close with red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my little one. He tried opening the box. But he just wanted the box. That's the Cypress too. And that's it. He just wanted the box. So I let him have the box. <laughs> He's colored on it. Um. Yeah, last night I started washing diapers at like six ish. Or so when my little one was in bed, I started washing them. He went to bed early. Like six thirty he was ready for bed. Um yeah, so I soaked diapers in my wonder washer. I did a pre-wash that way, and then I hand washed them with the soap, not the bar, and the washboard. Um, then I said to hang up in the bathroom. Right now. <coughs> Here's today. I went through these are the ones I haven't pulled yet. These are my challenge shippers. Um one, two, three, four, six. Wait. Wait, this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would do seven diapers straight. Um, Two covers, seven diapers. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Now, if the FOCA doesn't work for the diapers, then I'll try something else that is definitely HE compatible, but I already know with the non HE stuff to use way less than they recommend. And if you want a little bit of suds. Um. <clears throat> and then, um. Um. I'm actually am dying, dying, dying. To start using the machine again. Well, I'm loving the challenge. I'm loving it. My back is killing me. Be pregnant, my back is killing me. Um, yeah, so I'll be happy because tonight's the last challenge wash night. So then tomorrow I could use the machine, so I just might save the. Uh, those dirty diapers and just put them in the bag and get them that way. Um, I typically wash every two to three days. Three months. Put the diapers off. Yeah, and then, but, <clears throat> Every family is different when it comes to diapers and kids and 
Some really don't want to use craft. Some really don't want to use disposables. Some these combination of uh, in one diaper bag we actually have maybe three disposable left. Um, but sorry, I'm just really tired. Um, but um, after we those, I don't plan on buying any more of the uh, disposables because my son is getting to where he wants to use the potty. So, <clears throat> what I might do is put underwear on him, pad fold, stick in there. I don't know. But I do know when he comes to three, as long as I still want him to, he's going to start preschool. Is it pre or is it pre-K? It's one of those. Um, yeah. Oh, the, the, the other day, my husband got hurt at work, so I went to the ER with him. The nurse there sees us changing my son, who had a massive poo, and she's like, and she says something like, Oh, it's so great to see parents using cloth diapers. It's so much better for their babies. And I commented, I go, well, um, my son is allergic to disposables, but we love the cloth anyways. They're a convenience. They're a costing factor. They're not contributing to landfills. Um, yeah, so... That was pretty cool, because I like that, you know, oh, I'm super tired, I'm just tired. And honey, if you're watching, I need, I need a sofa. <laughs> and they're like, I'm supposed to have it. But I don't that too. Literally, every few weeks. <coughs> um. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, now I've been reading, and I've read newborns go through twenty diapers a day, well, twenty-four hour period. So. And I'm having a C-section. I really don't want to see a section. Like, I just have to. I'm like, fine. Well, that was one book. I'm actually seeing two. So when I see the second one, I'll ask her for her opinion on that. Um, but I am gonna pack. I'm gonna try to have. Uh, Sixty-ish. Oh yeah. 20, 40, 50, yeah, about 60 ish diapers for her with us. Um, then my son will be with my, mo my mom's going to be coming into town to help. I'll have the for my mom ready to go. And that's another thing I like to do too is make sure the Cloth diapers are just all ready to go. The flats. Anyways, like, so if, uh, my, if my son was here, I would just, um, you know, like, I'll do a pipe book. Right now, just to show. So, <coughs> I would have them folded like this, which I do it anyways. I have them folded, ready to go. We're all whoever changes them has to do is just take dirty diaper off, clean his bum, air it out. 
Uh, place a little bit of baby powder if needed. He does have some lightning sensitivities, so whenever we see a bit of red, we just put a little bit of baby powder, move it all over. Um, and then we just lift his butt, put it up, fold it down, and then fold it up. Then we use nappy bone with the pins to pin them. Um, He's wearing snappies right now. He's in a, I think a diaper bag full. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. If you do have stairs, just go in up front. You have, you use cloth and. <coughs> And how long you plan on being out for? Um, you can have um, you can have a couple of these for the sitters to use. You know, one size diapers because you know are adjustable then you know um well my son honestly just needs it like <laughs> this and it's still like right about to here um you can have these for them it might make it easier if I have our black people to have them already folded, if you have to <coughs> switch bits of prisons for some cloth, show them how to do it, and it, and that's why it's good to have several options of fasteners, because some people are going to love the snappies, some are going to love the bonos, and some are going to throw the pins. And others gonna be like me and not care, just whichever's closest or whichever's clean. And the pins, I keep them. Well, except for the diaper bag, I keep them in a bar soap. It makes it way easier. Um. Yeah. And uh, the covers. There are different covers. There's. Okay. The foot covers I want are pretty much the bum genius without the pocket part is just a back thing here and then a front thing here. So all you're doing is just um you're pretty much just doing a simple pad fold uh with a flat or pre fold, whichever. Um and you're just folding it and the idea behind that is you tuck it into the flaps the flaps keep it in place and <clears throat> it just sits like that when it's close it's you know like that um but my son, since he has the witness sensitivity, he does. Um, the Bum Genius is fine because it's, it's the dry liner sewn in. And there might be a little bit of stains, but you know what? It, they're diapers. It's going to happen. They're going to deal with it. Um, then. Well, the liner that's in here, not the one I'm using for the challenge, but there's two liners in here. This is like for a newborn size. And then, you know, it's just, you snap this on the side of the diaper. This one's just completely open. It's just like this. I can tell from the fill, it is. 
da 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 This is um <coughs> eighty percent polyester, twenty percent nylon. So the directions on here say wash cold, wash hot, double rinse, stir warm. All that means is if you have a machine like mine that does uh, extra rinse, just do the extra rinse. I find it helpful to make sure all the detergent is out of the papers. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, if you don't have a travel wet bag for the, you know, your diaper bag, you use grocery bags, of course, I know, I'm probably saying what I already said earlier. I'm tired. Given that I am tired, I should probably let you guys go now. But stay tuned for tomorrow. Yep, stay tuned. <laughs>